Welcome to the Scoop School podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. When it comes to cheesecake, he's all about that base, about that base. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen. Nice to have you here on the Scoop School podcast slash video cast. Um, again, another quick one today. We've been talking a little bit about the different types of pasteurizations. Before I jump into it, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Sweet Chills Brands. This is a dairy mix manufacturing company based on the West Coast. Nice to get some representation of dairies on the West Coast. Uh, Dawn Stanley is the person you want to speak to there. They make really any type of ice cream base. They can make a custom base for you and they can hook you up with all of the ingredients that you'll need in order to do so. Dawn Stanley at Sweet Chills Brands. They also make the Miss Karen's Yogurt brand. Very, very popular in the low fat, no fat market. Uh, Sweet Chills Brands, thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, rounding out this video series where we're talking a little bit about the different types of pasteurization. We've spoken about VAT pasteurization or LTLT, low temperature, long time. We've spoken a little bit about HTST, high temperature, short time, or a fresh mix process. And uh, lastly today we're going to talk about UHT, which is ultra high temperature. Now the beauty of an ultra high temperature mix is that you get a very long shelf life out of it. Now don't be fooled, a UHT mix is not an aseptic mix. An aseptic mix is a product that's pasteurized to the point where it's shelf stable. So you can basically take that out of the distributor or out of your broadline distributor, drops it off, you can put it on the shelf until you use it. That is not UHT. UHT still needs to be uh, refrigerated. Um, so if you've got a dairy that's providing a UHT, yes, it gives you a long shelf life, but it still needs to be under regular cooler or refrigerated conditions. Now, that shelf life can be anywhere between 60 and 90 days. So again, having a product that you can get delivered to you that has an expiry of 60 to 90 days is unbelievable, particularly if you're in a part of the country, a part of the world, that does not have good rotation of dairy product, or maybe your dairy can't provide for you any more than maybe twice a month or once a month in the uh, winter time, it's a great option to have, nice long shelf life. Now, the downside, well, some people will say that a UHT mix has more of a sweetened, caramelized, or cooked note, or a cooked flavor. A lot of UHT companies say, ah, you can't tell the difference. But side by side, sometimes you can tell the difference between a fresh mix or an HTST or a UHT, which is ultra high temperature. Now, typically ultra high temperature or UHT bases are cooked anywhere between 270, 290 degrees, generally somewhere in the middle, 280, for about one to three seconds. So it is a much higher threshold of temperature. We're cooking a lot more bacteria out of that mix. That's what gives us a long shelf life but it really is subject to that heat only for a very, very short amount of time, uh, one to three seconds. A lot of the newer UHT plants are actually steam injecting it, so it's not even going through pipes that are that hot. It's basically, as the mix showers down through uh, the receptacle, it's basically injected with steam, which is at that 280 or so degree mark. This is Fahrenheit, I should say. So as that mix goes through, it's pasteurized uh, at a high temperature, and uh, for a very short amount of time. So that gives you your longevity in your uh, use-by date. Now, a couple of things rounding out. Most mix companies, most mix plants are either HTST or UHT. Some of the plants that we go on tour, particularly the one close to us here at our Scoop School classes, has a small section that does HTST but is mainly UHT. So it really depends on the location, the region, and what type of products that they're doing. But specialty dairy plants that are making just ice cream mix only in a short, or a, 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 yeah, I guess a shorter amount of products, a less amount of products, uh, are either UHT or HTST. So again, UHT, ultra high temperature, around about 280 degrees, one to three seconds. Um, again, ask your mix company what the process is and how they make your mix, what type of pasteurization is it, and be a little bit more educated in the process of what pasteurization is, the types of pasteurization, and in particular, how your product is pasteurized. You'll be a much better seller of ice cream, purveyor of ice cream to your customers 
when you have that background knowledge. I appreciate you being with us for this very short video series. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about pasteurization, questions, put them in the thread down here. I'm happy to, uh, to uh, uh, get back to you backwards and forth if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. But drop us a line, steve at scoopschool.com. Happy to uh, basically put some topics together for you. Uh, keep on scooping, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.